Traditionally, Audi 4s are distinguished by high corrosion resistance, even in places where the paint is chipped, the metal almost does not rust. Passive safety is also at a high level, maximum 5 stars according to the 2009 Euro NCAP crash tests. The cabin is quite quiet. But there is a characteristic problem. In sedans, the shelf near the rear window often begins to creak. It needs to be removed and made quiet. The range of engines for this model was considerable and consisted of both naturally aspirated gasoline and turbocharged engines. It is interesting that without turbines it was not the base ones, but rather the top-end petrol engines 3.2 FSI and 4.2 FSI, the latter was installed on the RS4. Both gasoline and diesel engines are presented on our market in almost equal proportions. As operating experience has shown, a number of problems have been discovered in each of the gasoline engines. General failure of individual ignition coils is possible, however, this problem occurs many times. The weak point of all gasoline engines of the TFSI family is the timing mechanism. Premature stretching of the chain and breakdown of its hydraulic tensioner were noted. This can happen with runs from 70 to 100,000 kilometers and threatens the chain slipping and a fatal meeting of the valves with the pistons. Therefore, during the specified mileage, in order to avoid troubles, it is necessary to monitor the condition of the specified parts. In the 1.8-liter engine there are also leaks in the high-pressure pumps, replacement is required. 2.0-liter gasoline engines have an increased oil appetite. If it is more than 0.5 liters per 1,000 kilometers, the service station will first suggest replacing the crankcase ventilation system. If this does not help, the engine needs to be repaired and the piston group replaced. I have good news for you. Now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro. Here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on Carmi.pro. The most reliable diesel engine is the most popular 2.0 liter. In 3.0 liter engines, failure of the intake manifold flaps, most often noticed by the check engine warning light, in the throttle valve block, the engine loses traction, interruptions in operation, and increased smoke, has been noted. Force come in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. In response to driving ambitions, the A4, B8, gives traction priority to the rear wheels. In standard modes, the torque is distributed in a ratio of 40 to 60, in favor of the rear wheels. All-wheel drive versions have better stability and cross-country ability than their single-wheel drive brothers. No characteristic weaknesses were found in the Quattro transmission. The range of gearboxes designed for the A4 is also very diverse. There is a six-speed manual, the least common, a Multitronic variator, for low-power front-wheel drive versions, a robotic manual transmission S-Tronic, analogous to the Volkswagen DSG, and a classic Tiptronic automatic transmission. The least reliable turned out to be a robot with two clutches, the weak point of the mechatronics control unit, it turns out to be jerking while moving. Sometimes the problem can be solved by reprogramming the brain, but often the problem unit has to be changed. In a manual gearbox coupled with diesel engines, the dual mass flywheel may fail, clicking and knocking when starting to move and when idling. And this is an expensive spare part, the cost of which easily exceeds 1000 euros. But the most problem-free were Multitronic, it is of a new generation and the weak point characteristic of its predecessor has been eliminated, and Tiptronic. After the restyling, the A4 was equipped with a reliable and fast ZF hydromechanical gearbox. This is the one that can be recommended for purchase in the first place. The chassis was created for the difficult task of combining comfort and precision control. Therefore, the suspension is quite complicated. Multi-link suspensions are installed on both the front and rear wheels. To reduce the weight of the springless masses, the front suspension arms, for on each side, and the lower wishbones of the rear suspension are made of aluminum alloy. The chassis is characterized by moderate rigidity and energy consumption. 
As an option, the A4 was equipped with the proprietary Audi Drive Select system, which allows you to change the character of the car, settings of adjustable shock absorbers, responsiveness of the power steering and accelerator pedal vary. The restyling versions have three operating modes, comfort, auto and dynamic, and after 2011, efficient. Modes are replaced by buttons at the gear lever. Interestingly, adjustable shock absorbers turned out to be no less reliable than conventional ones. The suspension is also quite durable. Most of the original consumables of the front and rear suspensions are capable of operating up to 100,000 kilometers. The hydraulic silent blocks of the rear lower arms of the front suspension serve somewhat less, about 80,000 kilometers, and the stabilizer struts last about 60,000 kilometers. At the same time, chassis repairs are not cheap, the front control arms are supplied with ball joints, and the rear suspension includes lower control arms along with rubber bands. Difficulties also arise with replacement, subsequently the steel bolts and the aluminum steering knuckles securing the upper arms and camber rods of the rear suspension become sour. They have to be heated, drilled, and sometimes even cut off with a grinder. The rail steering wheel, equipped with electric power steering, has proven itself to be reliable. Steering ends can withstand at least 100,000 kilometers, and traction rods about 150,000 kilometers. In the A4, the parking brake is electrically operated, which is activated by a button at the gear lever, and the brake mechanisms lock the pads using electric motors mounted on each rear caliper. Unlike the Audi A6 in the 4F body and the VW Passat B6, the Quartet has no problems with the electric handbrake. The only note about the brakes is that over time, the rear caliper brackets break and knock on uneven surfaces, 